Welcome to an accessibility tour of RB Digital version 4.7.7 .7 on iOS. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. Those who are unable to read print have been listening to recorded books and magazines for decades. The idea of an app to give access to this valuable content is tremendously exciting. A few modifications to RB Digital's interface would allow everyone to truly enjoy this experience. But before we dive into some suggested improvements, let's take a quick look at why they're important. To get the most out of a smartphone, those who are blind turn on voice feedback. Voice over on. App testing. Then they can swipe quickly to different controls on the screen and hear any text that appears. Playbooks, Overdrive, Libby, R Digital. R Digital, Menu, Button, Menu, Button. In order to navigate a screen effectively, it is important that all controls can be swiped to. Elements should be laid out in a logical order, and standard controls should be used so VoiceOver can interact with them. We will now explore three accessibility challenges with the current version of RB Digital on iOS. We'll demonstrate VoiceOver's inability to swipe through pop-ups, controls it cannot interact with, and challenges with the magazine view. These issues make it difficult to visualize the screen layout and harder still to interact with it. When a menu or feature is activated, the previous screen is dimmed to form an inactive background. This is a common practice throughout the app, but presents a major challenge for voiceover users. Instead of being positioned on the new controls, the user is left stranded on the previous screen. A prime example of this is the menu button. When activated, it expands with options such as My Account and Log Out. Menu. Button. However, instead of being able to swipe to these options, we can only navigate the original screen. Search. Audio. Download. View. Yoga for beginner. Audiobooks. The only way to access the menu field is to tap on the far left side of the screen. Home. Then swipe through its controls. Book. Magazine. Enter. Checked out. This is problematic because blind users will not know where the menu is or even that they have to tap it. Another example of this is found in the search feature. From the home screen of the app, we press search. Menu, menu, button, me search, button, search, close search, button. Then tap search ebooks. Search, check, search map, search ebooks, but search ebooks. At this point, we should be positioned in the search box. Instead, VoiceOver gets stuck on the dimmed background of the home screen, so it is not possible to swipe to the search controls. Audio, download all, view all, yoke, download all, view all, button. Here, we must tap the top of the screen to focus VoiceOver on the search pane. Text field. Before its controls can be navigated. Text field is editing. Insertion point at start. H. H. I. I. Hi, keyboard. Double yoga for beginners. Hi. Unfortunately, reading a magazine with voiceover is quite difficult. Close search. Close search. Search. Button. Here, we press the read button below the magazine. Read. Button. Read. Close button. Button. The New York button. Button. Once the magazine opens, voiceover is left in a non-responsive screen in which no text can be read and no controls can be swiped to. The New York button. The New York review of books. Heading. Close button. The New York review. Close button. Close button. Button. In order to pull up the navigation controls, we must turn off voiceover first. Voiceover off. Tap the middle of the screen to invoke the menu. Then turn voiceover back on. Voiceover on. Landscape. Home button to the right. R digital. Close button. Button. 
Now, we can tap the text button to move out of graphical view. Button. The pen and the brush. How passion for art shaped 19th century French novels. After a wait, the first page of the magazine is exposed to voiceover. However, there is no way to turn the page. Instead, we have to double tap the middle of the screen, then select the contents button. The pen and the brush. How passion for art shaped 19th button. Close button. Not only are the buttons here unlabeled, they cannot be swiped to, making this process nearly impossible for blind readers. Furthermore, the title of each section is not presented in the text, so voiceover does not speak anything useful here. Story cell story title. Story cell thumbnail. Story cell publication title. Story cell pages label. Most voiceover users will not be able to carry out the above steps. The reading interface needs to be made more accessible, so it is easier to find and read articles of interest. Controls that cannot be selected when voiceover is running are not limited to the magazine view. For example, in order to access reference information about a publication, you must click on the graphic of its cover from the home screen of the app. However, when you attempt to do this with voiceover running, nothing happens. Yoga for Beijing, 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 Yoga for Beginners, 01 slash 01 slash 2009. It takes a lot of time and hard work to produce an app of this caliber, and we appreciate your willingness to explore increasing its accessibility. The modifications requested here can be made without impacting the visual look and feel of the interface, but will be greatly appreciated by those reading your content by voice.